Hey, good morning. Welcome back to the book of Philippians. We're continuing through chapter 3. Just one verse today, though. Chapter 3, verse 7. Let's read it. And here's what it says. But what things were gained to me, these I have counted loss for Christ. So very simple today, very straightforward, just this one thought. The things that, that Paul says I used to value, the things that meant a lot to me, that seemed to me to be of great importance in my life, he says, I'm willing to, to, to throw it all away for Christ. But what things were gained to me, these I have counted lost for Christ. He's already written them off. If you get into a case of persecution, and I think we're coming into a time with much more Christian persecution, and maybe, you know, the government comes and takes away your home. They take away your pickup truck. They take away whatever gear you've got. You might be so sad. I mean, I would, we would all be sad, wouldn't we, if we lost property or had our property damaged or destroyed. But you know what? All of that stuff really is on the altar for Christ already, isn't it? I mean, aren't you willing to follow Christ without reservation? Aren't you ready if the government comes after you or if some bad entity comes after you? to say, well, I'll follow Jesus no matter what. Burn my house down. I'll follow Jesus anyway. I hope that, hope you're already there. I hope I'm already there, right? Whatever we have, whatever material possessions we have, count it all loss for the privilege of being a follower of Jesus Christ. That's where we should be. And that's where Paul's telling us, he's telling the Philippians where they need to be. If we suffer any losses, don't worry about it. Sure, it'll be terrible at the time. It'll seem uh, monumental. But remember, following Jesus is everything. Everything else, you just count it lost. Just kind of basically start by writing it off. I could lose everything, and not just material items. You may lose, Jesus says, the gospel divides family members, right? You may lose a friend over your beliefs, and we don't want that. But you know what? Count it all lost for Christ. Just be ready to follow Jesus at any and all costs, because Paul is right. What things were gained to me, these I have counted loss for Christ. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, are we this clear-minded? Are we this sold out? I pray that we are. If we're not, Lord, be with our hearts, be with our minds. Help us to stand clearly and unambiguously, Lord, out there for Jesus. Show us how to do it. Give us wisdom. Not every battle has to be fought. Not every hill do we have to stand at the top of and, and die on. And yet, Lord, it's so often we know our nature is such that we tend to cringe, to step back, to cowardly move off to the side, and we very easily step back from standing for Christ. Help us to know exactly where and how you'd have us to stand all the way. Help us to look at the Bible examples in the book of Daniel and in the book of Revelation and in the gospel, how we can live for Jesus. Lord, thank you for hearing our prayer today. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you're clear-minded. I hope you have an idea of what your plans are. God be with you today.